We are going to be reviewing the DecoCraft add-on. This is created by Razzleberries and sits at a 4.2 star rating out of 5. This add-on will cost you £4.99, which is 990 Minecraft coins. This translates to around about $6.50. The DecoCraft add-on has a 4.2 star rating out of 5, over 1,800 people giving their feedback, and 65% giving it a 5 star. There was also an update for this add-on, making it a lot easier to pick up the decorations in your world. We are going to be combining this add-on with another furniture add-on to see how this works. Just turn on the behaviors pack, and it should automatically enable the resource pack. As you would imagine, this add-on also comes with a book explaining everything you need to know. And this is what it says. Congrats, you are now the proud owner of the official DecoCraft for Bedrock Edition. We hope you enjoy decorating your amazing Minecraft creations with our little add-on and that you love it as much as we do. Getting started, there are a few things you need to know about to be able to use DecoCraft. Raw material, the basic ingredients for all decorations. Number two, Deco Bench. This special crafting table is where all the magic happens and you can make all the things. So if we do go to a crafting table and we do type in Deco, for example, there are two separate ones which we will be checking out today. This one requires one iron ingot. You need to grab yourself five spruce and then warped planks. But I am curious if any other type of plank would work. I can confirm you are able to use different planks. However, you are not able to use different logs. I thought that one was a pretty strange combination. Let's place down our deco bench. Before we read all the details about this, let's check the book out a little bit more. It does say, to be able to craft decorations using the deco bench, you will need to add red dye, green dye, blue dye, as well as raw material. Once a decoration is placed, punch it in order to pick it up. So if you tap on this, it will actually pop up with this. Now, it does actually explain the first time you do this, everything you need to know. It says the input, it says colors, and it says raw materials. You also have buttons, which you are able to interact with. And this is one of my favorite things about this. I love the fact that this is actually separate compared to the crafting table, but it has slightly bugged out in this world, uh, strangely enough. This is here. Uh, probably a slight bug with this. Maybe because we've got 13 other add-ons in store. But I really like interacting with this. You're able to go up and down. So if there's like tons of these available, you can go down. Now, according to what this add-on says, there are over 1,000, 1,000 things you are able to make within this add-on. So let's go and get the needed resources. One hour later. So I've got myself a couple of dies. Are we, a aha, dude, check it out. Oh, that's really, really cool. You're actually able to put quite a lot inside of here. I love the animations with this one. This is so, so cool. This is why you always read the book before you do anything. In order to get the raw material for this, you have to actually craft it inside of this. Coal has to go inside of there, enter it inside. It also says you can also fill it by placing coal directly, I believe. So we have ingredients, enter the blocks you want to convert into this slot, which we'll figure out what that is. And then you can press start and then it's gonna go, it's gonna burn, go into here, go there, and then you can collect it. Kind of like an advanced furnace. So if we put this inside of there, you can see here the amount of fuel you have. Only requires four to fill this up. If we were to grab ourselves, I don't know, some... Oh, dude, I love that it goes up on its own. Put that inside of there and click start. This is then going to smelt it. I really love the animations with this one. They've definitely gone above and beyond. Again, this is why you read the books. Otherwise, you get super confused. And then it obviously says how many are starting to be made. Can you, like, do multiple ones of these? Curious. Aha. Okay, there we go. Aha. Okay, and then this goes inside of here. Everything goes into this slot. We now have the amount of things 
that we are able to make so let's go back to the start you've got entertainment so we'll go from this side we've got beds you've got storage systems you've got tables and chairs kitchens bathrooms misc lighting entertainment dude this is so cool i gotta i gotta make myself like a, a gaming computer oh that's how you tap on things what's this at least got that one and then we can hit craft and then that's made and then we should have this uh, wait where's where, where where'd the item go there it is aha it popped it out over here and now we should have ourselves oh it's not a pool table oh okay it's one of them so we can play football can you interact with these I don't think this one specifically is interactable. But again, decoration purposes, it's really cool. Oh, I've also just realized that when you tap on a specific item, it tells you how many ingredients it's going to need. So one of the things with this is that if you do break it, you actually get your materials back. You can see here, I haven't actually lost any of my dyes. I can finally make the big bed. Let's craft this. I want to see how this looks. We're going to put this in... Oh, dude. I want to put this right at the front, but this is going to be slightly too big for me. Oh, I wish like it was three wide. That's okay, because with this, we're able to get like a bedside table. So we've got storage units here. Oh, oh, okay. This one's actually going to work. Um, We've got a space of one. I'm going to go for like a taller one. Craft you grab this one here let's put this one next to my bed ah, that kind of works okay let's keep going with this <laughs> all right so we've done beds we've done a little bit of storage uh we'll ignore the tables for now because i would like to mess around with like the miscellaneous stuff this kind of stuff decoration purpose oh we got light switches oh that's pretty wait what are that was that a bird cage i think it might be a bird cage oh let's craft this let's make you grab the bird bird cage where did... there it goes all right can we put you like yeah it is a little birdie cage oh that's so cool oh i'm having fun i should probably make myself like a table and chairs area we've got plenty of materials i'm gonna go with this one just because i like the color and then obviously i'm gonna i'm gonna make another one actually because we're gonna make like a computing area so we're, oh, oh, that's not what we wanted to do. I always forget, though, that there is a lot of different combinations. Is there actually a bigger table available inside of this? Oh, there's a computer chair. There's a computer chair. We'll make um, we'll make this one. I like this one. Let's craft you. Because I want to make my computing area. We'll grab this as well. Uh, computer area. I would probably put this over here somewhere. We've got the computer chair. No, that's not how we want that to go. We want to go this way. There we go. Gotta get myself a PC. I'm kind of basing this off my setup. I have three monitors. How expensive is this one? This one wasn't too bad. But is this going to fit on here? This is why I said you're going to need multiple tables. I love it though, because we've got the microphone. We have the screens. First one playing Minecraft. The one over there kind of currently has all my audio on. And that is Discord. This is perfect. And good news is you are able to stack them together. But surely, can we sit down? Ha ha, we can sit down. I'm taking this out, but I was just curious. Can you interact with these? These don't seem to be interactable with. The bed is, I'm curious if this can also turn uh, day to nighttime. No, hikers friends, you could, but with this, you could not. Dude, there's gotta be a bigger table. I will make this though, just to double check. So where would we be having dinner? I mean, I know I placed everything together, but we'll put this in the middle of the room. Now, this one can be interacted with with the paintbrush. Uh, maybe no. Yep, yeah, there you go. Aha! There we go. So you can decorate this based on whatever kind of color the builds you are using. I like that one. There's a little gumball machine. I'm crafting this. I'm gonna put this right up here. Can we put it up there? Can you place them on there? You can. The cool thing about this versus the other one, though, is you're actually able to interact with these a little bit more. Previously, if I had to do this, I'd have to tap it on the block behind. Let's make ourselves a grand piano. I'm going with this color here. I'm also going to make myself a pool table. So if we were to tap on you... Oh, it's not a pool table. We said this before. There's the pool table. I tapped on the wrong one, but we'll take this. We're going to craft... And I'm going to craft this. And we also have 
by the looks of things, some weights were able to do. Cosmetic related. related. Dude, oh, I'm, I'm picking it up. We got it. Okay, piano. Grand piano. I got a feeling this might be really big, and i probably do some of these upstairs. I've definitely designed this slightly wrong, I guess. But we'll get rid of this, because I don't need you. We have a pool table, so we have plenty of space for this. This needs to be, I think, moved over slightly, so we'll go like that one. Ah. Oh. I just need some pool cues. Change of plan. I'm switching everything around. So we are going to place this like here so we can still play either side. Gaming computer, same location, just upstairs. Bedroom looks so much better. I feel like I might need some carpets up here as well. But I'm sure there's going to be something really cool that we can make. I don't know what some of these items are. The only downside I would say with this is I wish at the top it would tell you which item you've currently selected. But there is just so many different things. I feel like I feel like some of the tables and chairs are for outside. So you could have like a barbecue if you really wanted to. With, oh, a rocking chair. Oh, I'm sold. Yeah, give me this. Give me this. A rocking chair? Yes, please. Before dinner is made. Let's grab this. A rocking chair. Right in this corner. Can we put it on an angle though? No. No, it would have been so awesome if you could place it on an angle like an armor stand. Now, big question. Do the lights in this work? I think I will go for like these ones. The craft. And we'll hit this one. We'll have to make sure it's nighttime. But can this be tapped on or off? It can. You can kind of see a slight bit of light right there. Yo, I just made the model that they have in the Mojang office. Let's place you up here. Dude, that's so cool. Did you guys know there's also plushies? I don't know what that's meant to be, but I really like this one. Let's craft you. I'm just crafting as many different things as I can right now. So this is the flat screen TV. We're going to have to put this on the wall. So we'll put this like here, I guess. Oh, that's only small. Can it be turned on or off? It can't. Hmm. Okay. Uh, better idea. I got to make myself some more units, put them at the end of the bed, and put the TV on the bed. Looks like our gym is being extended. We have ourselves a gym workbench. We also have ourselves a cheeky treadmill. Hold on, hold on. Let's put this a little bit further back. Can we get on this? Can we run? Dude, it'd be so much fun if you could run. Well, oh, you do. Oh, you do. Oh, that's why, like I was saying before, you do have some animations with this. It kind of looks like you're pushing, I guess. Obviously, things aren't moving. Ah, dude, that's so cool. You can see the weights behind you. What happens if we get on this then? Oh, this is just sitting here. One thing I do wish was available is like multi-crafting of the same item. I know a lot of people who purchased this would be the exact same, but you have to craft this. I can't tap on this and craft it again and it stacks up, which is a little bit of an inconvenience. I'll be totally honest with you. I think that one looks more like a bigger stand-up kind of TV. So we'll take that. Aha, there is the one that we should grab, which is a designed kind of canvas. I, I don't know if that... What is this? I actually don't know if that's meant to be like a uh, PC. That looks like a PC that would ne go next to your system. So we'll grab this. I can possibly grab myself another table to place it on. But if we go back real quick, I did actually discover even more inside of here. Like, you've got pizzas. We can have pizza for dinner. And there's also beds for your doggos. I can confirm this is for your gaming monitor. I know the table colors are not actually the same. I can't change the color of those. Uh, but we can change the design of this one and put, like, a beautiful flower on there. We do have a fish tank. Sorry again, gumball machine. Oh, wait, that can't go on there. Oh, th this needs more space. Uh, how much space does this need, then? Hold on, can we put you on here? Oh, ho -ho -ho! who needs TV when we've got this? Okay, so double TV, double TV. It is a double TV. I think this one might be Creeper Crunch. Which is a collaboration that Minecraft did. We are going to grab ourselves some pizzas. I've got... I don't know what this is. Maybe like burger and fries, is it? Burger and fries. Somebody's eating Creeper Crunch. <laughs> oh, I just realized... Oh, okay. I was going to say, hopefully the item doesn't disappear there. Uh, we got to go back to the misc. And we got to go down a little bit here. Uh, maybe... I, I guess someone can have a birthday cake. If it's your birthday delay today, let me know in the comments section. Let's get... Uh, oh, oh, we don't got very much space. I'm sorry, Gumball Machine. 
<laughs> Dude, I love this. Can you interact? Can you sit on these? I think you're able, you should be able to sit on them, but you can't really interact with the food. Oh, <gasps> you can interact with the pizza. All right, pizza, you need to face this way. There you go. What about the cake? You've got toy cars. You've got checkers. I'm actually not that bad at checkers. And we've also got a basketball, which I don't think you can interact with this. It would have been nice to have like a basketball hoop, but this would definitely go outside. We didn't even get the chance to check out all the kitchen related things. There's like knife blocks. We have coffee grinders. I noticed over here we've got sinks. We've got like the toothbrush area. We have ourselves tumble dryers, pets, you name it. There is just so many things you are able to do. Obviously, if you're doing uh, kitchen related things, you'll start to mess around with the kitchen stuff, bathroom, bedroom, and then you've got like entertainment room. There is like a thousand different things for players to explore. There's toilet paper holders, plungers, coin piles, ingot piles we checked out some of the burger stuff we have globes some of these will be interacted with and again they are fully compliant with your survival world for me personally i give this a solid five out of five although the other add-on is free you're definitely paying for something worth exploring and better yet you can combine both of these together check it out for yourself and we'll be checking out the final add-on in the next video. Have a wonderful day.